meeting is now called to order. Good morning, Lions and Leos of the Philippines. It's eight o'clock in the morning in Manila. Good afternoon, Lions and Leos of California. It's 5 p.m. in San Francisco. Good evening, Lions and Leos of Canada. It's 8 p.m. in the evening in Toronto. Friends, fellow Lions and Leos all over the world, during this time of COVID-19 pandemic, we are here experiencing new norms in our daily lives, including the way we conduct our service activities and meetings. We Lions and Leos are resilient and innovative because if there is a need, there is a lion. At the, this moment, despite of COVID-19 pandemic, we are creating history, having an installation in induction ceremonies of multiple Lions and Leos clubs in multiple countries, the Philippines, Canada, USA, in different time zones, different days and dates and time, but happening in a single moment. It is unthinkable, unbelievable, but it's possible and it's happening now. This is unprecedented in Lions Club International. It is history in the making and we are glad we are part of it. As past international president, Dr. Win Kung Tam says, when Lions meet together, good things happen. And he further said, dream, plan, act, and follow through. And that was we did. Thank you for your words of wisdom. By the way, I am Dr. June Valera, first vice governor of District 4C4, your host and chair of this historical event a physician and a medical frontliner this time of COVID-19 pandemic. Now, I would like to introduce to you my co-host and my co-chair for this historical event, my mentor, my good friend, PDG Esther Lee. PDG Esther Lee is a 32-year active lion. She likes to mentor young lions and lions who likes to grow their leadership skills. She, re she received numerous awards, including Presidential Medal, Senior Master Key, Progressive Melvin Jones, Diamonds, to name a few. Her governorship was rewarded with a lot of first, a health and wellness presentation at Oracle Arena with Dr. Oz, whom she recruited and inducted him to become a lion hosting of international board with President Dr. San Francisco City Hall, filming portions of President Tam's end year of report at Korea International Convention and formation of Veterans Lions Club. I am for what I am, a test test testament of her mentorship. And I'm very grateful and humbled for that reason. She always say, be a lion and make your life meaningful. And if you are a lion, remember to serve with kindness and humility. Fellow lions, friends, ladies and gentlemen, PDG Esther Lee, take it away PDG. Your mic is off. I Your mic sure. is okay. off. Okay. Great, you're ready. Thank you for that introduction, Vice District Governor June. And to everyone, I would like to greet you from California, USA. Thank you for joining us today with our first international virtual induction and installation 
a group of vice district governor June's innovative and creative energy translated to this international event. We do not profess to be experts, just highly motivated lions for unity and enrichment of the lions family. So please bear with us. Vice District Governor June is a very busy practicing cardiovascular surgeon, a clinical instructor in surgery, a medical frontliner, and we really thank you for that a champion of health and health-related advocacy projects. His is a family of lions, Leo to lions, all four of them. He has received many awards and recognition. So my co-host, Vice District Governor, Dr. June Valera, a 16-year lion. My co-host. Thank you very much, BDU Esther. You are really my mentor. Thank you. And I would like to mention the words of wisdom of our sixth president. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader and you are an epitome of a leader, PDG Esther Lee. Oh, no. Now, <laughs> next. <laughs> sit with our. I'm getting embarrassed now. <laughs> That's okay. Now, let's proceed with our next part of our program Invocation. Invocation by second BDG Ferdi Coronel, NAMI champion. MD 711 of Canada. Take it away. Thank you, BDG, uh, BDG June, uh, fellow Lions, good evening. Let us all bow our heads and pause for a moment of silence for our departed Lions and for world peace. We give thanks for the wonderful opportunity given to us as members of Lions Club International, the greatest humanitarian organization in the world that is always ready to help and care for the blind and to other unfortunates. Let us all continue the good work we are doing. So when the time comes for us to leave this world, we will leave it with satisfaction of knowing that we have done our share as true lions in helping others for the good of humanity. Good evening. Now we proceed with the national anthems, uh, beginning with the Philippines, followed by Canada, and then the United States. Lion of August would be presenting them now to you. I mean, it's just YouTube. I didn't really do much, but thank you. Yes, it's still your effort. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Now, I would like to call Lion Carlo Paolo Padilla, member, member of his club and now the president of his club, San Francisco River Vizcaya Lions Club, Lion Carlo. Thank you, Dr. June. Place your right hand over your heart and recite with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. PDG okay, Esther. Thank you, Lion Carlo. And now, um, in his absence, he has graciously sent us his welcome address. That's our Lions Club's international president, Dr. Jung Yol Choi. Dear Lions and the Leors, ours is one of the most unique organizations on earth and one of the most important in ordinary times and in times of great need. We are called upon to serve by our communities and by the world. That's because we bring kindness to those we serve and our incredible diversity helps us serve in so many ways and in so many places. We are 1.4 million men and women in more than 48,000 clubs. We don't just serve the world, we represent it. As much as we are different, we are the same. We are lions. Our service bring us together. There is no limit to what we can achieve when we work together. We can serve our local cultures and our global cultures. We can unite people in new ways with specialty clubs. We can support our global foundation, LCIF, to empower the service of Lions now and for generations to come. We can find new ways to safely serve our communities. It takes a great organization like ours to take on big challenges. It takes great clubs like yours. It takes you, the most incredible volunteers in the world. Your unique contributions and your kindness are needed now more than ever before. Together, we can strengthen our communities. Together, we can change lives. And together, we can change the world 
when we are united in kindness and diversity. Thank you for your incredible service. Thank you. Thank you for that words of wisdom from and welcome from our international president, Troy. And uh, right now we have a congratulatory letter from our third BP, Dr. Patty Hill. That's, uh, I'd like to mention that most of the clubs being chartered tonight, four of them are from Canada. So we really requested that she sent us this letter and she has graciously accepted and sent it. It's, let me read it to all of you. Dr. Patty Hill, it says, Dear Chartering Lions Clubs, congratulations on this special occasion marking your new Lions Clubs formation and on officially serving your respective charters as Lions Clubs in the coming years each one of you as an active member of the Lions Club will have the opportunity to make a significant impact on the lives of your neighbors and the community in which you serve. Being a lion will also bring significant benefits and opportunities to you, ranging from training programs to service opportunities to global networking this year we have all been challenged by our international president, Jung Chol Choi, to work together, united in kindness and diversity. In joining your local Lions Club, you have already committed yourself to service with kindness and contributed your unique individual diversity to the strength of, of your club. I wish each of you the satisfaction that comes with serving personally and collectively. As you embrace your new leadership roles, encourage each of you to commit to bringing one new member to your club each year to enhance your club's impact and diversity. Congratulations on your charter celebration. I also congratulate your sponsoring Lions Clubs and wish you great success as you move forward in service. Yours in service, Dr. Patty Hill, International Vice President, Lions Clubs International. We thank her for our, the message we received to all, for all the new clubs being formed today. Okay. Now, now we are going to hear few greetings from our past international director friends who shares our belief in Lions causes. First, past international director that will give the greeting is past international director Tom Gordon of Newmark Ontario CI from 2017 to 2019. Only director from Canada, he was appointed Leadership Development Committee of LCI, currently LCIF member of Lions Quest Advisory Committee. Fellow Lions and Leos, PID Tom. Take away PID. Well, thank you very much. I, it's, it's amazing to see the screen or the screens uh, and see so many people I know and a lot from Canada, not just from down in California. So this is uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. it's a wonderful opportunity and an awful lot of people down there. Oh, this is great. Yeah. And, and basically, you know, this is just a congratulations. I mean, you have a, a club that's getting started off. You have a new president and you have a, a, a time in the world uh, where things are changing for lions. I mean, if you could imagine doing this five years ago, you were certainly far sighted into lions because we wouldn't have been able to do this kind of thing five years ago. We wouldn't have known how to do it. And this is uh, allows us to reach out. So, you know, if you do need guidance or you do need help or you want to find out uh, how somebody does a service project in another country, it's pretty
You are muted. PID Tom. Sorry, I think that was just me just now. Oh. It was just for like five seconds or so. Okay, so where was I when I finished? I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll just start go over. from here. Start over. <laughs> I'm not going to start all over again. We, this is, it's just, uh, it's a new world for us. And we're able to do this kind of communication. And that allows us to share uh, our experiences, good or bad, uh, with what we're doing and the different service projects we do, the different services we do, and the different groups of people that we help. And uh, I just, I know that uh, you have to be very creative at this time uh, in order to be a successful Lions Club. So I hope you got lots of creative people there. And I hope that uh, you don't look at this as being a barrier with the times that we're in. Look at this as being an opportunity to be as creative as you can be. So congratulations, good luck. And if you need anything, you know how to get a hold of me. Thank you very much for your time. Th thank you very much, PID Tom. He was my uh, PID uh, faculty mentor in Chicago, Chicago for my Ali. Yeah, yeah, it was good. We had a good time, didn't we? Yes, sir. PDG, <laughs> PDG Esther. Yeah. So, uh, not sure. I haven't checked, but uh, we are expecting our past international director, Sanjay Ketan of Nepal. He's the LCI chairman for specialty clubs and he's my boss and PDG Rajan Tapa, <laughs> Lion Rajan. We're sorry to wake him up because it's pretty early there in the morning. <laughs> but thank you for joining us and motivating us to serve finding the commonality in a group that binds us to serve a cause. PID Sanjay. Thank you, uh, Esther Lee, for organizing this event and inviting me in this wonderful group. Dr. Zun, chair for today, our VP brand, PIDs and fellow lions. Pandemic has hit the world and the same way it has hit the Lions Club. But the silver lining is there. Today, we from the globe are able to touch each other by an event like this. It was available in the world, but we were not very versed to it. Today, we are able to touch and we are becoming really global when we are participating in the programs of another area each day. So we have opportunity of learning from each other and maybe tomorrow working with each other. So uh, I thank and congratulate the organizers I welcome all the clubs which will be installed and the new member which will be inducted today. There are few specialty clubs also. And as we are growing, this specialty club will serve the community. And I would not say different way, but I would say their own way. So I welcome all the specialty club member and the traditional club members uh, to Lions. They have joined an organization where they will develop their own leadership, their services, and their fellowship with the, with the Lions world. Welcome to the Lions. Thank you, the organizer, again. Thank you. Long live Lion Nation. Thank you for that. Our PID Sanjay Katan, and I really, really appreciate you getting up this early. <laughs> Thank you very much and for your guidance. Thank you. Okay, now, Lion June. The next part of our program is acknowledgement of attending dignitaries. 
uh, this is only partial list because there are a lot of us, a lot of you did not sign up or late. The, we were not able to put the list. So uh, can we put the list, please? We attending dignitaries, we have second BP. Brian of Canada, PID Sanjay Kitan of Nepal, PID Tony Benbo of Australia, he is my DGE group leader, PID Dr. Bill Ayanakon, he is one of my mentor, a great friend too, Richard Castillo, PCC Direct Leader, DJ Tibo Richards, and DG Fanny, our very own district governor of San Francisco, San Mateo, and Palo Alto. And the next are PDG Debbie Dawson of A711, PDG Chris Liu, PDG John C, a good friend of mine from the Philippines, 301, PDG Ruchua from the Philippines, 301. My very good friend, PDG Rajan Tapa. PDG Mike Retzklaff of 45. PDG Talma Batillo of 46. PDG Larry Hidalgo of 46. And uh, again, our PDG Lija Taylor Bellinger of my home district. Next, please, PDG Esther. May you have the honors? Well, I'm calling on myself. And then we have first <laughs> BDG Macy Mac Chan of 4C4. First BDG James Bargesi. Oh, my international convention committee <laughs> member. Um, we have first BDG Jesus Garcia from 4L3. Of course, our BDG Dr. June Valera. Our first BDG Sande Hirar Lal Judan A711. I know that she is the specialty club coordinator at A711. And then second VDG, John Yui of District 4C4. And second VDG, Linda Barbara at District 4, from District 4C3. And finally, uh, second VDG, Ferdy Coronel of District A711. Again, this is only the partial list. If you, uh, we miss your name, we are very sorry, but can you please put it in the chat so that you'll be recognized? At least people can see the chat. Thank you very I, much. I think let's explain that we asked for the first sign-in registration so that we can list you in the dignitaries if you are one so that we won't miss you. So if you are uh, kind of late, so that, that's when you, the list is not complete, but we'd like to recognize everyone. And of course, we thank you for being here. Lion June. Yes, uh, now. Okay, so I guess, oh, Lion We June. have uh, in mission. Can't hear you. We are going to show uh, two videos of two clubs, San Francisco Film and Grippons Leo, about their services. Take it away.
Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So the 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 video of Gripons, those uh, kids, these cubs, or we call it uh, Leo in training, are now Le Leos, and the Leos are now Leo lions, and those parents accompanying their kids are now uh, lion themselves. So we are a family of uh, lions, and the club Phil, um, we have the highest number of Leo lions. Family youth, our members are medical frontliners. PDG Esther. Okay, thank you, Lion June. And now uh, our keynote speaker will be introduced by DG Terence Richard. But before that, let me say a few words about this very successful lion. DG Terence Richards of District A711, Canada, is a very accomplished Leon to Lion of 20 years, a member of Thistletown Lions Clubs, fondly called Tebo, served in numerous important capacities in the district, attended district multiple and international convention, graduate of all leadership development institutes like the Lions Club Certified Instructor, that's LCIP, we have a faculty development excellence series, that's FDES, FDI, Faculty Development Institute, and the LE, and a doctorate in Lyons University. He received numerous awards and recognitions. He has a postgraduate honors diploma in infor information technology. He has a master's in management, and he, 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 he is a business systems analyst, a freelance consultant in cybersecurity and penetration testing. My pleasure to introduce DG Terrence Richards. DG Terrence. Can't hear you. Digiterrence. Digiterrence. Uh, so he is unmuted. So it appears he's having problems with his microphone. PDG Esther, I think the DG Terrence is having technical difficulties. Oh, he is here. Okay, DG Terrence. Yes, could you hear me now? Yes. Good, thank you. Line chair persons, thank you. Allow me to already establish. Past and present international district and Greetings. It is an honor and a pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker for this historical international induction and installation of multiple Lions and Leo clubs in multiple countries and multiple time zones. Our special guest speaker is from Bird Island, Minnesota, USA, and was elected to serve as second vice president of Lions Clubs International at the 102nd International Convention in Milan, Italy, July 2019. 
a member of the Bird Island Lions Club since 1991, our speaker has held many offices within the International Association, including Council Chairperson, Long Range Planning Chairperson, Multiple Di District Convention Chairperson, and Global Leadership Team Area Leader. Our speaker has served as the Chairperson of the Lions Headquarters Operations and Finance Committee, Alliance University Coordinator, the District Governor-Elect Group Leader, and a board appointee to several of the international organizations committees. Our keynote speaker is a passionate, motivational speaker and presenter at line events and other global forums. In recognition of his sterling service to the association, our speaker has received numerous awards, including the International President Certificate of Appreciation, International President's Leadership Award, multiple International President Awards, and the Ambassador of Goodwill Award, the highest honor the association bestows upon its members. A progressive Melvin Jones Fellow and Second Century Ambassador, our speaker and his wife, also a Lion and Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, have two sons and two daughters. In their spare time, they enjoy raising exotic animals, hint, penguins. Fellow Lions, please be upstanding and help me welcome our special guest and keynote speaker, International Second Vice President, Brian Sheehan. Thank you, Terrence. Very kind. Thank you very much for that introduction. It is greatly appreciated. I am so humble to be here. What a great event, uh, international new club and member installation celebration. I, I absolutely am excited when it comes to new members. I am absolutely excited when it comes to new clubs. I'm absolutely excited to see the new friends and the older friends we have here, as well as our new family as well. When we all get together and are part of a new family, it just doesn't get any better than that. And we just have to love it. I hope you are excited too. Oop. Here we go. Yes. We hope you are all excited as well. I'm going to monitor my uh, volume here. I had a little problem with Zoom. So you can see the excitement and that should be what we are today. You see your mentor standing behind the excitement and persuading you and motivating you. There's your district governor, Fanny, and there's your district governor, Terrence, or it might be a past district governor, Esther, or it might be a vice, vice district governor, June. It could be anybody, but it's about excitement and having energy in all the things that we continue to do. We have to be excited. When we get new members in like this, with so many things going on, it's very important for us. I, I wanna welcome the new members. When we get new members and we get new officers, I want you to think back a little bit. When you became a member of this organization, you were a little scared. I was. I, I didn't know what to expect. Oops, I got to go back again. Sorry. I'm trying to monitor my, my volume here and it's not working very well for me. So bear with me. You got to love technology when it works. But it is because we don't know. What to expect? We don't know what people expect out of us. We don't know what we're up to. And when you get that unexpected, you're doing things outside of your comfort zone. And we're not good at that. to say to the new members, 
I applaud you for trying something a little bit different. A little bit new. But once you get in the thing, you realize it's not as bad as what you think it is. Things are always better once you've gotten into it and you know what to expect. So don't be afraid of going into this journey of, of being a new lion. We are excited to have you here and we are ecstatic to be able to see the wonderful things that you can bring as well. So why are we here? We are here to give you some puzzle pieces to the lion's puzzle and to literally give you a bridge to the rest of the lion's world. We're all here to put those pieces of the puzzle together. You're going to get new pieces of the puzzle every year that you are a lion. For the new lions and the new clubs, the sponsors and lions on this call, what will be there for any questions and direction needed for you to be a great member in a club? You know, I, I tell my wife I know everything. Don't tell her. I told you that, though. I don't. I pick up different puzzle pieces all the time to this great organization. My father was a lion over 55 years ago, and I started getting some of these puzzle pieces when I was young, my first convention, my first time that I was able to go to a zone meeting. We pick up different things that we are excited about with this organization. And those are the puzzle pieces you're gonna gather throughout your lifetime as a lion. Do you know what the great thing is about lions? is we are all the same. We've got the same goals. We've got the same desires, the same needs. Nobody, absolutely nobody is different. We all want to accomplish these things. So we're here to give you these puzzle pieces. puzzle pieces along the way. Sorry, I've got okay, a good okay. feeling about it. Well, uh, I had a good feeling about it. Well, okay. That's exactly how I'm feeling. I, and I hope everybody in this call is too. I've got a good feeling about this. I've got a good feeling about the members. I've got a good feeling about these added clubs. I got a good feeling of this international flair here of pulling everybody together. It's so great because it's not always that easy. Life is hard. Life is hard. It, Life throws us curveballs. Life takes and it, it, we fall on different things. Life is not easy. Are you Canadians know what I'm talking about here with this ice? Philippines, I'm not too sure about San Francisco. I know you get cold there too. Life is not easy. Life gets us down sometimes. Look at 2020. Look at the challenges and the stumbling that we've had to do in 2020. It's been different. We have to overcome that. We're going to be able to do that. This stuff is not going to last forever. Oh, good recovery. Don't you feel like that sometimes? I've been home since March 9th, and the world just gets us down sometimes, and we don't know if we can get back up again. But with this Lions organization, it gets you motivated, and it gets you to where you want to be able to 
stand back up and be able to do things. So what we're going to do, again, I'm excited. We're going to do an induction of the new Leos and the new Lions here. And, and this is one of the greatest things I get to do. I love doing recognition, but most of all, I love bringing in new members. Let's start this exciting process and induct these new members. Are you still excited? This is why I'm here. I, I'm here for these great new and exciting members. Again, that's what inspires us and that's what gets us all together to do the things we want. I want everybody to remember when you first became a lion, here's somebody coming to tell you about this great organization and they're excited and they're jumping up and down and having a great time. And you're saying, what's the line? <laughs> don't know. <laughs> and look at you. You're all standing around. You're not excited. You're not fired up. But we're going to be. <laughs> this is something you should be excited about. It's so great. So... After this program, this is going to be you guys. This is going to be everybody. Everybody's going to understand what lions are like. Everybody's going to understand that we're family. Everybody's going to understand that you're part of the solution and not part of the problem. That's what makes me so excited and the things that we continue to be able to do. So why are you a lion? Or why did you become a lion? We're going to show all the new members here off to the side, which is fantastic. This is great. This is absolutely great. Now, you remember when you became a lion. Now, tonight, you new members, it might not be today when you in, we induct you. Everybody else understands what I'm talking about. For me, it was about eight months after I was a member and I went to my first convention. And oh my goodness, I didn't realize my town is very small. Bird Island is 968 people. And I went to this convention and they had all these lion things all over, leader dog. And they had the hearing foundation and the sight foundation. And, and we were doing so many projects. I was astounded. I thought lions was created in Bird Island. I didn't realize that we were a global organization. So that's great. So I want you to think about the time you were a lion. I ran across this poem, and I think it's very, very fitting as to why I'm a lion. And as we go through each one of these lines, look at these beautiful new members here today. And also a big shout out to the sponsors. I want you lions on the call here today. Remember that day when you became a lion. It's not for money, and it's not for fame. That's not why we're in it. It's not for any personal gain. It's just for the love of fellow man. It's just to lend a helping hand. It's something you cannot buy with wealth. It's not medals worn with pride. It's for that feeling deep down inside. It's that reward down in your heart it's that feeling that you've been a part of helping others. It's a sign that makes you an effective lion. That's why we're here today. We're not in it for ourselves. We're in it for other people. Those that are in need, where there's a need, there's a lion. You don't have to look very far that when you're a new member here, you're part of a global organization and you're automatically a part of, we all want to leave a mark in society while we're on this earth. There's no easier way to do that than to be a lion. So let's induct our new members here. I would like our, our new members now, raise your hand up for those new members so that people can look up and down and see all the people in there. And if you're a new member, I want you to raise your hand up so we can see. And we want to see your excitement of the wonderful things that you're doing, too. I want to be able to see you all on Zoom. I want to see that. So we're going to induct our new members here. So if you would, just go ahead and raise your hand with your icon or raise your hand as well. 
<clears throat> this is for the new members. Since you have shown your passion and desire as a member of your club and with Lions Clubs International, I now ask you to repeat after me the obligation of membership. I really appreciate being able to do this virtually. With this pandemic going on, we're telling them that's not going to put us down. We're not going to use that as an excuse. So that's great to have. So you new members, new Lions, you new Leo clubs, please repeat after me. I do hereby express my membership in the Lions or Leo club that I have chosen. Do hereby express my membership in the Lions or Leo club I'm choosing. I, and then state your name. Of everybody that's out there is a new member. Take this solemn obligation. Take this solemn obligation. To abide by the constitution and bylaws of the club and the International Association of Lions Clubs. To abide by the new by the rules and constitution of the club. And the International Association of Lions Clubs. The International Association. To attend all meetings regularly. To attend all meetings regularly whenever I can. And further the interest of the club. For the interest of the club. All of its undertakings. And all of its undertaking. To contribute my fair share of participation in our events. Contribute my fair share of participation. In our events. Yeah. I further declare. I further declare that I will assist in maintaining. That I will assist in maintaining. Building, building, strengthening the membership of the club, and strengthening the membership of the club. That I will help the club. I will help the club by actively serving on committees and in other capacities. By actively serving in committees and other capacities, where my efforts are needed. Where my efforts are needed. And that I will practice, I will practice. And I will practice. And I will practice. the principles the of the Code of Ethics, ethics. The, principles the principles of the Code of Ethics, ethics. and the objects of Lions International. And the, and objects. the objects of Lions International. You are now a member of your respective Lions Club or Leo Club. You're going to receive a pin from your sponsor, your club president, which signifies your new membership. Wear that pin with pride. Promise me that you will keep your enthusiasm to make a better club. So let's give everybody a big round of applause for all of our new members. That is so exciting. I am so excited for that. You guys are that guy in the very front jumping up and down and being all excited. I love it. You know, August. August, would you like to play a couple of other videos in between here before I go on and uh, give the uh, charter? Or would you like to do that at the end? I'm okay either way. Uh, we have some through our slides. Um, so were you planning to, because we have slides for the charter and we also have slides for the, the officers. Cool. But if you yeah, have text. Cool. If I could use the ones that I have and then we can roll through yours in the end, if that's okay. I do have their pictures and stuff here too. Um, okay? Line Dr. June? or PDG Esther, make the call. Thanks, let's give it a shot. <laughs> sure. <laughs> because as you can tell, I'm a little bit different. I, uh, I, 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 I'm a little different type of a presenter and stuff. I like to relate things to different things. Now you new members, you are now a family and we help family. We have each other's back more than anything. That's what I love about this organization. While spry and agile, the young gazelle is no match for the raw speed of the magnificent cheetah. However, outfit a human with a pair of sketches go run to running shoes and you never know what might happen. serious we have your back you are now family and we're there to help each other out i know you will have my back and i will be there anytime you want and we'll have your back as well that is very important for us so let's talk just a little bit about the presentation of the charter 
cheers to a very successful year. I, I want to tell you in presenting your charter, there's three primary things that you want from your club to have a successful year. And that is primarily, there's a lot of things, but primarily if you have teamwork, if you have communication, and if you are accountable, you will be a very strong member of your club. And that stands for everybody on this call. And you will be have a very strong club. Let me talk very quickly about each one of these. When you can pull everything together for a common cause and help each other out, teamwork. <gasps> teamwork is a must. Everybody has to be on board. We're here to help each other out. And if we can have that within your club, number one down. The next thing we got to have is communication. <laughs> communication, communicate. These guys have good teamwork. They're laying five blocks at a time. <laughs> but I think they got to work oh a little God. bit more on their communication. There's good teamwork, but they're not communicating. You give your vision and your team and communicate it properly, your club is going to oh have a consistent God. direction. I challenge you to continue providing meaningful service to those in need, both locally and globally, and do it while we embrace diversity and kindness with all of our communication with everybody. And the last one is about accountability. This is a very big one. We all have to, even though it's teamwork, we have to be accountable for our actions. There's no finger pointing. When the governor or the club president asked me to do something or looking for a volunteer to do something, we'll do that and we'll do it to the best ability. But if you do do that, make sure that we are accountable in those steps. Look at this mess. <laughs> Who did this? Somebody made it. Who made it? Who made this mess? Who pooped in the kitchen? Honey? You pooped in the kitchen? Took the cookie off the counter. We don't finger point. We come up with solutions. What did you do, Aries? Aries. Who got into the trash? Aries. Did you do this? What did you do? So accountability. Aries. Is very, very important in order to have good and everything else. So the purpose of the charter presentation here, we've got some great clubs coming up here. We've got the GTA Brave Club. I know they're pending a charter date sponsoring by the Club Toronto Centennial. I think very important here to recognize too, District Governor Terrence is very excited about this. All the governors get excited. When you get a new club, the NAMI coordinator, and if you all know what the North American Membership Initiative means to me, is very, very important. Second Vice District Governor Verdi, and especially club, co club coordinator, First Vice District Governor Sandy. Club organizers is Lion Kevin, club branch president, Lion Kevin Pace, Pinnacle and club branch liaison is Whitfield Velasco. I wanna thank you guys for stepping forward. That is very, very important to be able to do. We also have the Thistletown New Era Branch Club. Sponsoring club is the Thistletown Lions Club as well. Again, District Governor Terrence, again, very proud of them. NAMI coordinator, second vice district governor Verdi, the club organizer, Lion President Andrea, and the new club branch president is Lion Andrea. Very excited for you guys. And we have Toronto Capri Lions Club as well. And District A711, sponsored by the Toronto Centennial. Again, same people and working and involved in that. It's so excited to see them. Charter President Lion Bar Barat and Guiding Lion Sandy. Getting this together. This is a team that gets all of this together, which is very, very important to be able to do and the Toronto Tibetan Club. And I'm so great to be able to see the specialty clubs that are going on and, and getting these clubs started up in your area. Again, sponsored by the Toronto Centennial Club. And again, District Governor Terrence is very excited about it. 
and the entire group, getting these clubs together shows me you've got some momentum and a lot of things going on. Cabinet organizer, assistance, cabinet secretary, Alicio, the branch president, Lion Tashi, and the branch liaison, first vice district governor, Sandy again. The purpose of a charter, and, and I know District Governor Fanny and all the district governors are very excited about this. I know the purpose of the charter presentation is first of all, you give public recognition for organizing a new club or a branch. You present the charter, which is an official document of this organization. I wanna make sure that the charter members sign your charter and you frame it and you hang it in a prominent place. I'm proud of our charter of our club. We have it in our meeting room. My father's name is on it back from 1964. The purpose of the charter is to inform the members of their specific responsibilities of their club and they share the club objectives and goals. And it secures the pledge of officers and members of the fulfillment of their duties. And the charter is to help educate the organization and the community through publicity of the occasion of the objectives and the goals of these clubs are very, very important to be able to make sure that we are excited about that. So I wanna do the installing of the officers here. Now, thank you, the officers. I debated for a little bit. My installations, I usually have that correlate to something different. I do candy bars. I do baseball hats. I thought it was appropriate to do something in regards to we all love the outdoors. There's something about gardening or farming that can bring you joy. In Lions and Leos, we prepare a weekend at the beginning of every one of our lionistic years, and we prepare our garden. We prepare our garden beds in our yards and in our homes and wherever we live. It's no different for lions. We prepare our garden beds for our leadership. We have been threatened by a pandemic for the last seven months. It's not going to stop us from growing and planting our seeds for the new leadership in our club. We're eager to nurture another year's growth. So we originally designed our flower beds with a care that an architect designs a house. We invest in leadership institutes, we invest in training, we invest in friendships, and we choose a landscape of leaders that we like and we trust. And we followed the plan to the letter. We buying bushes and flowers and we're investing that would grow to look like the lovely pictures in our book and the plants that we've been here before. We've been prepared and nurturing you, the officers of this club, for this exact moment to grow and to help strengthen the club. Our organization is a lot like a garden. Our Lions Clubs International has flower beds all over the world in more than 210 countries. It was planned and it was planted with care. 140 ye 104 years ago, in its current structure, we're aware that each flower bed is gonna take on a life of their own as it experiences growth and challenges across the country. It's like nurturing a mature garden plot. Organizations need tending to, as well as each flower bed. Structures have to be modified to work in this new day. They may work in California, but they may not work in Minnesota or Canada or the Philippines. I applaud you today. You are tending to your own plot. You are coming to the edge with new ideas and challenges that will overcome with your creativity. You're going to find new ways to address yesterday's challenges in order to grow vital clubs with men and women for today as well as tomorrow. So we're going to start inducting your members and we're going to start with your lion tamers. So here's your lion tamers. Lion tamers, I want you in a moment to stand up and raise your hand up to be able to get inducted in this. But beforehand, I want everybody to think for a moment and go ahead and chat, put in, type in your chat box if you want to. 
if you're lion tamer, your lion tamer is in charge of a lot of your possessions and your property. If your lion tamer was a vegetable or a tool, what do you think they would be? It's requiring some thought here. We got to get out there and think a little bit too. So congratulations to the lion tamers that I do have on my screen. Now, lion tamers, if you happen to be a vegetable or a garden tool, my opinion, there's no wrong answer here, but my opinion is you're going to be like a pea, okay? And why? Somebody had an answer like a rake. Good one, Tom. Because peas, they grow neatly in a row. And the lion tamer must keep the club's property all organized. Your tool, your special tool, you're going to have not a rake, but it's going to be a bucket because you need a bucket to collect all your tools after your meeting. Now, if I come and visit your club, lion tamer, I'm giving you one warning and one warning only. Watch your property because I may just borrow it is all. We don't steal. We just borrow now and then. So lion tamers. Can you please raise your right hand? And if you'd like to unmute yourself, you most certainly can. So lions and leos, you have been elected to serve as a lion tamer. Will you care for the display and storage of the club's property, the flags, the gong, and the gavel? Will you also serve as sergeant of arms and greeter for both guests and members? Will you as lion tamer perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please answer with an I will. I will. I will. Awesome. And that's excitement. I can hear it. Thank you, Lion Tamers. You <laughs> have a very important job in order to be able to accomplish and get through. So next, we got the tail twisters. Here are the tail twisters we have on our screen here. If you were a vegetable, if you were a garden tool, oh, what, do you think, <laughs> what do you think a tail twister would be? We got to think on that a little bit. They're a little harder. To me, you're going to be a scarecrow. And why, you ask? Because I feel one of the most important roles we have is you have to keep the levity and the humor in a productive way. If people start to fall asleep, it's your way to very inconspicuously keep the excitement going and keep things going. Your tool is going to be a garden trowel. Is because you got to dig up dirt on other members and have some fun. You're the ones that can make your club and you can have a lot of fun at your meetings. That is very important to be able to do. So tail twisters, please raise your right hand. And if you want to unmute, you certainly can. Lions, Lions and Leos, you have been elected to serve as tail twister. Will you promote harmony, fellowship, fun, and enthusiasm to draw the members together at club meetings? using your best judgment to assist with club administrative fundraising. Will you perform all of your duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please answer, I will. Thank you to the tail twisters. Again, I think one of the most important roles in order to be able to have a great club. Next we have coming up is we have our directors. We have a number of directors here. And we have them posted on the screen here as well. So to everybody, to this entire group, I love the answers. A water or banana, you guys are coming up, you're thinking, you're being creative, and I love that. So for our directors, for our first year and second year directors, what vegetables do you think, or tool, do you think that our club directors will be? Directors set a lot of direction for our club. They have a lot of responsibility. They're gonna make sure things keep going as a team. Probably one of the biggest teamwork people that you've gotta have. To me, they are like spinach. And you may ask why? Because spinach is associated with strength. Directors use this to make a club better. Your tool is gonna to be fertilizer because you need to nurture all of these seeds, all of your membership. And you need to nurture them and get excitement and growth. That's what directors do. So directors, if you would please repeat after me, there's a number of duties and obligations that you need to be able to do. We want to be able to make sure that you will be able to nurture and keep your club going and handle any difficulties within your club, any decisions that may need to be made in being able to go forward. 
would you be able to take on these duties and responsibilities for your club? If so, please answer with an I will. I will. <clears throat> Thank you, directors. Thank you very much for stepping forward. And again, there are things like I talked about earlier. There are things that we don't have to be worried about once you get in there and start doing things. Now we're gonna talk about the marketing communication chair. And we have our marketing communication chairs up here as well. Tessa Lua, Naomi, and Pancage. If you were a club marketing communication chair, what type of vegetable or garden tool do you think our marketing people are gonna have? Very important to get our word out to your community and what you are doing as a club. Very, very important. Because if, if your community doesn't know what's going on, they're not gonna see the great things that you're doing. So I think the marketing communication chair is going to be like a radish. And you may ask me why. I love carrots, sunflower, broccoli. You guys are getting it. But it's a radish because radishes add spice and color. And that's what marketing does for our club. Oop, I'm going to go back. I went too far. And that's what marketing does. So our marketing communication chairs, if you would raise your hand and you can unmute if you want to. Lions. You've been elected to serve your club as marketing communication chairperson. Will you develop and implement your club communication plan to publicize club activities to both members and non-members? Expand newsworthy accomplishments via all available means and media distribution. Will you as marketing communication chairperson perform all of the duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please answer, I will. I will. Awesome. Thank you guys very much for stepping forward. That's a big responsibility and a lot of things that really change in, in social media. And especially this day and age with COVID going on, we got to be able to get out there and market to the events and things that we have going on and being able to share that with people so they can come to our events. So we get on to the service chairperson. So our service chairperson, if they were a vegetable or a garden, what do you think that they would be? Service has been the institution of this organization. It's what we are built around. It is what we do. Those two simple words, we serve, has lasted us for 104 years. You don't have to say anything else. Good idea, seeds or cabbage, no. My opinion is, you're going to be the potting style. You're going to be the miracle grow. And why you're going to ask? Because miracle grow is in the soil and it's in the roots of our organization from the very beginning. We serve has been the core of this institution. And you're going to find out in Sanji and the other PIDs, you've seen it. You know, when we talk about service and we get service involved in our clubs, it keeps people around and it gives them purpose and it's going to allow you to grow. So the service chairpersons, if you would raise your right hand, unmute yourself if you'd like to. Lions, you have been elected to serve your club as service chairperson. Will you work with others to develop, communicate and implement the annual program of community and humanitarian service approved by the club's board of directors? incorporating both youth and Leos, members and non-members in your service projects. Will you as service chairperson perform all of the duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please answer with I will. Thank you to the service chairpersons. We much appreciate and to keep things moving on in our clubs all the time. Another very important role. LCIF chairperson, if they were a vegetable or a garden instrument, what do you think they would be like? LCIF, a very, the financial arm of our organization. This is something we have to continue to do because this is where we can really help the world with our humanitarian service. I feel that they are a cornucopia. And why you may ask, this took me a while to figure this one up, but the cornucopia symbolizes abundance, a bountiful harvest, and by extension, an appreciation for all the things that we do. We are very fruitful. We have many, many things and we have to be able to share them. We're grateful for what we have and we need to share these good fruits and our harvest with the rest of the world. 
And we can only do that with the help of that LCIF chairperson. So LCIF chairperson is the one we have on our screen. If you would so kindly as to be able to raise your hand, Lions, you're going to serve as LCIF coordinator. Will you communicate the mission of LCIF to your club and collaborate with a service chairperson and LCIF district coordinator to promote LCIF? Will you, as Lions Clubs International Foundation Coordinator, perform all of the duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please state, I will. I will. Thank you. More excitement again. Thank you. That is a extremely near and dear to our hearts, too, that we help so many people with our foundation. So membership director. Membership director, if they were a fruit or a vegetable or a tool, what do you think they would be? I like grass. Grass is a good one, Ferdy. Very good. Chili? Membership directors. Again, we have to continue to grow. We have to be able to give other people that opportunity. I love watermelon because they plant the seeds of additional ones. That's good. But I came up with squash. And you might say, oh, squash. Why did you choose squash? Because a squash plant puts out vines and it puts out tendrils as it grows. It's all over the place. And the membership director must send out vines into the community to find others to join this organization. And if they had a special tool, they'd be a weed control because we want to be able to weed out those non-quality members. We want quality in our membership. We want the best of the best. So membership directors, if you would please raise your right hand, and we have a number of them here on the screen. Lions, you have been elected to serve your club as membership chairperson. Will you help develop and implement a membership growth plan and retention program to encourage and assist the club in recruiting and retaining high quality members? Will you as membership chairperson perform all of these duties as provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? Please answer, I will. I will. Thank you. And this is the duty of everybody. This isn't just the membership chair. You all help that membership chair and you get potential people to come to your club. We move on to the treasurer. Treasurer, the person responsible for our financial duties. We have somebody we have to trust. It's got to be a good leader that we have. And we have all the treasurers on our screen here as well. What do you think treasurers are going to be? Toolbox, toolbox, Ferdy, you're coming up with these. That's good. I like that because you have to have a lot of different tools. But for me, I think they're a pumpkin. And you might say, why in the world do you think they're a pumpkin? Because pumpkins have these ribs around them and it keeps it steady and protected, which is what the treasurer must do with our money. The tool you're going to have is a flower pot because you got to put all that money somewhere and you got to nourish these club funds. So to all the treasurers, if you would please stand and if you would please hold up your right hand. Club treasurers, you are the strong arm of our club president. Financial efficiency of the club depends upon you. Will you assist to prepare the budget, raise bills to the club for approval, collect dues and other monies and deposit it in the bank accounts authorized by the club, maintain all records and receipts, disperse funds and designated by your club, present a financial report at each meeting for their consideration, and will you prepare final accounts to get them approved by the necessary members? Will you do this to the best of your ability? Please respond with an I will. I sure will. I will. Awesome, you guys. Big responsibility for you too. Thank you so, so much for being able to step forward on that as well. So we move on to the secretary. Secretaries. We all know the secretary has a lot of things that they got to be able to accomplish. A lot of things they have to do. Now, if they were a plant or a vegetable or a fruit or a tool, what do you think the secretaries are going to be? Big plant? Good. Secretaries, to me, they're going to be like carrots. Somebody said it earlier. Why? Because carrots are known to improve eyesight, and the secretary needs to keep a constant eye on the club and all what's going on. Your tool is going to be a rake so you can clean up unwanted data and keep all those rules nice and neat, which is a secretary has to do. So secretary, please raise your right hand. Very important portfolio. One of the most trusted ambassadors of the club president. The administrative efficiency of the club depends on you. 
assist the organization in all of your club meetings, issue notices, keep a true and complete record of the proceedings of your meetings, forward copies of the same to all your members, issue circulars frequently giving information of happenings and achievements at Lions Clubs International, multi district and district information, assist other club officers in discharging their duties. Will you do this to the best of your abilities, secretaries? Yes, I, I will. will. Awesome. Thank you for all you do. Yes, and we do know that that's a lot of work that secretaries have to go through and to be able to do as well. So next, we're getting down to the end here. The vice presidents. Vice presidents, they're gearing up and they're learning to take over the club. What type of vegetable do you think they would be or what type of tool they would be or fruit? Banana. Bananas? Steak? Cherries? Vice presidents to me are going to be like peppers. They're hot because peppers add a variety of color and that's where the flavor comes from. As the vice president encourages all members to share their variety of talents, your tool are going to be garden gloves because you're going to get down there and you're going to get your hands dirty to be able to help this president out. All of the vice presidents, would you please raise your right hand? You have been elected to serve as vice presidents. Will you, in order of your office and presence, substitute for the president whenever absent from any club or board of directors meeting and oversee the functioning of such committees as the president may designate or assign to you? If requested, will you also serve as an active member of the district governor's advisory committee, attending the meetings of your zone? Will you as vice presidents perform all of the duties provided by your club's governing documents to the best of your ability? If so, please state, I will. I will. Thank you, vice president. As you prepare to take over office of your club, much appreciated. This is a great time for preparation. Two left, we have installation of the immediate past presidents of the club. We have a few immediate past presidents here. If they were a vegetable, if they were a garden tool, what do you think that they would be? These are the people that have been knowledgeable. These are the people that have been out there for an entire year. I am her. I like that. And Clippers as well. To me, you're going to be the sprinkler. You're a source of nourishment. You know the information in your head already that's needed to help grow in what you started last year. It's an essential form and you are a big assistance to the club president. And your tool as well is going to be potting soil to plant these seeds of excitement and growth and be there to support your president. Immediate past presidents, you are, please raise your right hand. You are the president of the club's immediate predecessor, predecessor and you have an update of the latest knowledge and experience of all of your members and lions. You have succeeded in your tenure. Your assistance and guidance and words of wisdom are going to help a great deal with your new club presidents. All of their matters of continuity, advancement of objects of our association to achieve the goals of our president. Will you accept and assist your club president to the best of your ability and give suggestions when asked? If so, please say, I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done in the past year. I know it was a very, very trying year as well. So we come up to the installation of the president. Presidents, please stand. This is an exciting year for you and please raise your right hand as well. I am so excited for you. If presidents were a fruit or a vegetable or a garden tool, what do you think that our president would be? Screwdriver. No, the president is going to be like lettuce. Cabbage. Why? Cabbage. Because a head of lettuce has a core. You are the core of the club. That holds all these layers together. You're keeping all the members and the chair people and everybody all together just as an effective president does. And your tool is going to be a plant sprayer. You're going to nourish your club. You're going to help it grow. You're going to keep things cool. So presidents, I compliment your presidents for being able to step forward, and especially those charter presidents as well. And for your planning and organization, please raise your right hand. Knowing your president and their plans and programs, they have a golden touch. They have a green thumb, so to speak. 
and grandeur to all of their offerings and events. And this is going to be a wonderful Lionistic year. Please do not miss anything. And all who miss them will be the biggest losers of the lifetime. Presidents, will you express your vision to the club and give it guidance and direction? I know you will to the best of your ability. I invite the club presidents to accept and hand over their gavel from their current president to be the leader and presence of their entire club. Presidents, you are acknowledged by the international president, Lion Young Yul Choi, on the 1st of July, at when he became the international president of the organization as well. Now it is the desire of the membership of your club that you receive that gavel, the symbol of your authority and the symbol of love and affection for the membership of your club, the symbol of readiness of the membership of your club to work under your stewardship. Please use that gavel sparingly, firmly yet judiciously with the best of wishes of all of us and the assurance of all of us to assist and support all of your endeavors. I invite you to accept that gavel at this auspicious moment and ceremony. Will you accept? Please answer and respond with an I will. I will. I will. Thank I will. you. <laughs> Thank you, Club President. <laughs> awesome. Big virtual <laughs> round of applause. Oh, and yeah. To the, and to the members, you got to <laughs> remember that the only way that your officers are going to successfully succeed is by getting the full support in each and every one of you. I talked about it earlier, teamwork, accountability, and communication. We want you to grow your roots deep, especially those new clubs. Get in there and go deep. Presidents, if you provide your club with leadership and direction and trust, they're going to follow you anywhere. Your members will do anything for you. You don't know the power you have. Be positive. Excite and motivate. Make sure that your club goes through the process. I do want to thank each and every one of you here. <laughs> your meetings you're going to have people come back i will guarantee it so make sure in everything you do through your great accomplishments don't ever 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 forget to have a little fun thank you for having me here today you guys this, i hope this was enjoyable for you thank you very much bp brian lion pd pd jester take it away Did you Esther? You're still muted, Esther. I see you're talking. He's working at it. I'm working at it. Okay. My goodness. I say thank you to BP Brian <laughs> for your wisdom and in the information on the charter. It really en enriched our knowledge on it. Not just a frame, picture, or memento. Thank you very much. At this point, we will be having, uh, we'll ask Lion August to run all the newly inducted lions. There's a total of 100 of them. 
Yes, 100. Yes, congratulations. Yes, and a uh, lot of hard work for the recruiters and, you know, especially thank you, Lion uh, VDG 30 for those four new clubs. Okay, Lion uh, August, can you start them? Here they are, Lion June. Gripon Leo Club, uh, Helena Ho. That's Axie. I'm sorry, Qu Quantum San Francisco Field of Lions Club. Okay, so uh, we will not mention the name. We'll just show their pictures and clubs. Toronto Capri Lions Club. There's about 26 of them. <laughs> and they have 10 of them. Tisseltown New Era Club Branch. A club branch that is twen has 27 members. Remember they said that uh, if you want to stay branch, you can stay a branch club now. And the club from the Philippines, Nueva Biscayano. Okay. And these are the charter clubs. Just have to tell you, June and Esther, I am so proud of you guys and excited for all of the uh, districts that are involved here. That's so great to be able to see. Thank you. Lion June is the connecting person. And we have the Toronto Tibetan Club Branch, a specialty club. Okay. I think at this point we will be showing the videos of the activity of the Quantum Axilla Leo Clubs. And I was present at their original charter. There are 105 of them and uh, VDG then Fanny Chu in that installed them. And the next one to that will be the San Francisco Nueva Vizcaya. Hey everyone, we're the Quantum Auxilio Leo Club, chartered in 2018. I'm Angela Lee, the founding president, and let me show you some of the volunteer activities we've done. Thanks for watching. We'll be doing even more in the future, so be sure to stay tuned.
we did the health fair. Okay. Am I mute? Okay. We did the health fair in uh, Nueva Vizcaya with PID Bill Ayana Cohen, and uh, we did four schools of vision screening. We and Lion June at the time did four days of surgery with the team of doctors and anesthesiologists from the Philippines. And another group did a health test, blood pressure, blood sugar in an auditorium. So I believe we serve about 3,000 something people. So now um, we will continue with a presentation of appreciation to Vice President Brian Sheehan. Diane June. Thank you. Thank you very much, PDG Esther. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the uh, two sets of presenters and I will give them a, a, a I will share a brief bio. Then after that, they will give their present their uh, present to second uh, BD, BD, uh, vice president. So the first present presenter is uh, from uh, presentation of Melvin Jones Fellow by San Mateo Metro Charter President, Cindy Seng, assisted by current president, Joanna Gia. Cindy Seng, in her lionistic journey, have organized three cl Lions Club and two Brands Club. She coordinated the establishment of district to district twinning between 4C4 and 385 that lead to the improvement of cultural exchange between US and China. In terms of development and membership growth. For this reason, District 4C4 is the second highest in membership growth in constitutional area one last year. The first one is 4L2, still California. By the way, District 4C4 has the highest membership growth for two consecutive years for 2015 and 16 through the leadership of PDG Macy McChan and PDG Road Mercado. I'm going to give you the brief bio of Lion Ferdy and Lion Arlen. Lion Ferdy is the second BDG of a711 and also the NAMI coordinator. Their district was recognized as the top coordinate top district in new club development and recruitment. As you can see, they have a lot of new recruits and new clubs formed. Lion Arlen at is the wife of Lion Ferdy attended the Feeding the Homeless Service Project by husband, now a lion, devoted lion. She's a certified guiding lion and early graduate and master's in Lions University. She's a finance industry from 1982 to present. Now I would like to present to you the two presenters, Lion Cindy Sang, please, followed by Lion Arlene and Lion Ferdy. Dear International Second Vice President Brian Sheehan, as an important leader of the Lions Club International, you are effort and contribution to the Lions Club International has been inspiring all of the Lions in the world to express our high respect and thank you for induction of, of new lines and leos. I am honored to present the Marvin Jones Award to you on behalf of Cemetery Metropolitan Lines Club and the current president, Joanna Jia. The donation already been sent out a couple of weeks ago. You are going to receive the award, award pretty soon again. Thank you very much. We really appreciate your hard work. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. That's near and dear to my heart. Appreciate it. Lion Ferdi and Lion Arlin. Good evening, fellow Lions. Um, as one of the coordinator of uh, Canada, good, uh, thank you. I would like to thank you all for registering and witness this virtual event. Uh, we heard what we heard about you, uh, International Second Vice President Brian Sheehan, and we are uh, giving you or uh, presenting to you an award, which is because you are not a Canadian. And it's just kidding aside, uh, we heard that you, uh, well, you achieved many things to reach what you, you are now. I think you also inherited from your father and you have yes. the charisma for sure that you have uh, reached yes. what you are now. Uh, you are, you serve as a model to every one of us, especially to the new members and officers. And Naya Freddy, give what a presenter now. Yeah. Good evening, fellow Lions. Uh, good evening, Second Vice President uh, Brian Sheehan. On behalf of the uh, Canadian Lions of Canada, we would like to present you uh, the prestigious uh, Lions Foundation of Canada Fellowship for your dedication, support, leadership, and inspiration to all the Lions, not only in North America, but throughout the world. Just a brief uh, 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 description of, of what Lions Foundation of Canada does. It is, it is uh, assisting Canadians with medical or physical disability, providing them with dog guides at no cost. These dog guides are provided uh, Sorry. These dogs uh, cost $25,000 to get trained. And once uh, they, they are trained, they are given free to all the Canadians who have disability. So on behalf of our uh, conti uh, Canadian contingent, Second uh, Vice President, Pres uh, President Brian Sheehan, we are so extremely proud to present you the Lions Foundation of Canada Fellowship as our dearly close friend from the other side of the border. Thank you, sir, and uh, enjoy the evening. Thank you very much, Verdi and, and Arlene. The, the Foundation of Canada is such an important aspect too of what they can help out. I, I'm, I'm humble and very honored. Thank you all very much. Thank you, BP Brian. Uh, that is a personal gift from the couple, Lion Arlene and BDG, BDG uh -huh. Ferdy. Now, it, we will have another video presentation from Nueva Vizcaya Tribo, Philippines, followed by Toronto Thistletown Lions Club of Canada.
Honorable Lions International President, International Church Vice President, Past International Directors, Installing Inducting Officers, our very own Governor, District Governor, Terence Richards from District A711, Toronto, Canada, and all the dignitaries, a pleasant good evening. I am Lion Andrea Saul, and I'm the president for a brand new club, Tissotown New Era Branch Club. I just want to take this opportunity of thanking each and every one of my members and executive members who have taken the opportunity to be on board such a prestigious organization such as Lions Club. Thank you again, Lion Governor, for all the help and support you have guided us through. Thank you again and congratulations to all the clubs who have launched their branch club as well as their Lion Clubs. Thank you again and our mandate, we will continue to serve in season and out of season. Thank you again. Where there is a need, there is a lion. We serve. Roar. Bye for now. Please enjoy some videos and some pictures of what we've put together for you. Have fun. June. Thank you very much, PDG Esther. Now we are almost there. So now I'm going to present to you our next speaker for the closing remarks. District Governor Fanny Chu, born in Hong Kong, went to college in Minnesota and New Orleans, lived in New York and Chicago, now lives in San Francisco, California, as a global realtor, speaker, and instructor. DJ Fanny is also a columnist, guest, and host of Chinese real estate radio and TV programs. She has also held leadership positions in multiple trade and volunteer organizations. DJ Fanny is blessed with a great family. Daughter Melissa was a past New Century Lions Club president. Son Victor was past leader. Your president, but there is some of DJ Fanny's life, an active lion with San Francisco Chinatown Lions Club since 1991. She is recognized for many lion leadership achievements. DJ Fanny is a LCIF Melvin Jones Fellow, Don Stenaway Fellow, Helen Keller Fellow. Her most gratifying achievement is in training, becoming an LCI graduate LCI instructor program graduate in 2019 and is a few LCI certified instructor. Doing good deeds is just the first step. DJ Fanny wants us lions to be seen, be heard and be known. Friends, family and fellow lions, may I present to you the pride of District 4C4, our very own District Governor Lion, Fanny Chu. Thank you very much, Dr. June. Greetings to all the dignitaries and to the family of. I, Apologies, let me get everyone muted. Don't forget to unmute yourself, DG Fanny. Myself again. Okay, I'm on. Rerun. <laughs> Greetings uh, to all the dignitaries and to my family of lions and also uh, friends and guests that is here. Over a hundred of you today here. 
So my congratulations to the organizers, PDG Esther and uh, Dr. June. And also I know that um, Lion June, uh, Lion, uh, Lion August, you are remarkable as always. Uh, and I love those video clips and how you make this, uh, this event run so smoothly. And I'm very honored to be invited to be part of this indeed historic installation event. My special thank you to second vice president, Brian. You are a breath of fresh air. I love your words of wisdom, but most of all, you're always, always lots of fun. So, um, and then also the most important thing message is to congratulate all the sponsors of the new clubs and the sponsors for all the new Lions and Leos. And also a special welcome again to our family of Lions and Leos, to all our new members. Thank you. We welcome you to be part of us. Uh, this installation reminded me of several things that I will share with you. The key value that we hold dearly, and that was to embrace diversity and also, as Dr. June mentioned, um, to treat each other with kindness and to serve with integrity, transparency, and accountability in also not just service, but in our communication. And last but not the least is to promote lionism. So we are seen, we are heard, and we are known. And I look forward to be a piece of your puzzle for the, your key of success. And I look forward to meeting all of you in person in Montreal, Canada at our upcoming Lion International Convention. Thank you, stay safe and be well. Thank you. Thank you very much, DJ Fanny. DJ Fanny just chartered two specialty Lions clubs. And he is into information technology. Under her leadership, our district has district li digital library and a lot of training materials in our website. Thank you very much, Digifani, for your leadership. Thank you. I took that away because uh, I cannot take the credit. I think the credit goes to all the remarkable lines that step up to the plate. And really, all of you are like, you know, that you are the pieces of puzzle that help us put a really great lion poster together. Thank you. Lion June. And, and before we end, we would like to recognize uh, uh, the, the person behind all of this, uh, who works maybe more than 90% of everything, uh, Leo Lion August. And uh, we thank you very much. And PDG Esther, take it away. And before we adjourn this or after the adjournment, uh, we will have a slideshow of all these new inducted Lions and Leos, as well as the... Uh, officers of different clubs, especially those newly chartered club branches and Lions Club. PDG Esther. Uh, thank you very much, uh, BDG. I think I'm, I'm uh, okay. Thank you very much, uh, PDG June. I would like to thank uh, our special guest, Vice President Brian Sheehan. Thank you very much for making our event a very interesting one and something different. I know that when I talk to you, it's okay. I said, you can ingest some fun. So it's fun that we have that item about the, the lion, that laugh was really contagious. <laughs> so that was fun. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of, stuff that we learn from you in addition to what we already know. So you enrich our knowledge about the lions. 
but I would like to thank the very many people who are part of this program, first of all, the guy who thought about this, Dr. Jun Valera, who collaborated with uh, VDG for the Coronel and the Philippines, the group in the Philippines, Terence, uh, DG Terence Richards, Arlene Liam, and then all the clubs that were formed chartered, the four of them. And all together, let me tell you that there is a hundred new lions reported as new members. And these are all listed in our, uh, it will be shown in our um, screen. I think Lion uh, June did promise that we will run them through. Again, it is the only time that you will be a lion. You are born, it's like we embrace you as a new lion. You now belong to the lion's family, which is a big family. So the more you attend events and you participate, you will see that you have very many friends. So Lion August or Lion June. Thank you, thank you very much, uh, PDG Esther. So, uh... What we are going to do now is we, we are going to first uh, let it be written in the annals of history of Lions Club International that today we did something different, that we did installation in different countries.